My name is Mohammed Al Bahar, and I'm a 10th grade student at Al Bayan Bilingual School, who's here to raise awareness about one particular outgrowth of this year's coronavirus pandemic. You may be wondering, what am I talking about? Quarantining, e-learning, the shortage of onions, because I've got mine. But no, what I'm talking about is right in front of your face and mine. Don't get me wrong, I'm not one of these people who are against masks, especially as effective as they have been in saving lives during this pandemic. While many studies have differed on just how much protection these masks offer, the science remains the same. Wearing a mask is better than nothing. But what happens when we're done using the mask? Where do they go? This is a problem. People all over the world are tossing masks onto the ground and littering our streets with biohazardous waste. When fishing, I myself have seen many masks floating around the Arabian Gulf. I know that I'm not the only person who sees masks everywhere except where they belong, which is the trash. This, is, this issue goes well beyond the Arabian Gulf. According to the UN's historical data, it can be expected that around 75% of used masks either end up in landfills or floating in the seas. In other words, the current trend of littering one's mask will soon create a situation in where, in, where, in where there are more masks in the Mediterranean Sea than there are jellyfish. There are animals in the ocean right now choking on masks because they are mistaking it for food. Imagine yourself sitting at a restaurant. A server puts down the food in front of you and you start it again. Suddenly, you realize what is under the sauce is not food, but plastic. What would you do? Maybe you would sue the restaurant. Maybe you would write a bad review. But these animals we speak of have no recourse. They will most likely die. The reality is this. The very same thing that makes these masks so effective in stopping the spread of COVID-19 is simultaneously the same thing that is causing so much harm into our environment. How could such an important piece of protective equipment become so harmful? Well, it is because PPE is largely made of synthetic impermeable and non-biodegradable uh, material. A surgical mask is made of polypropylene and woven fabric, which astonishingly takes 450 years to decompose. Disposable gloves are made up of different polymers, including latex, nitrile rubber, polyvinyl chloride, and neoprene, and takes more than 200 years to decompose. Face shields are mostly made up of polycarbonate and polyester, and it takes the shield 450 years to decompose. But all is not lost we can still think outside the trash box and recycle. I believe that we can minimize our pollution by educating the public on alternative solutions to disposable masks. It is easy to take the mask of least resistance, but instead of using surgical masks, which are made of material that either end up in landfills or ruins our environment, you could use cloth masks. What's the difference? Well, start off, it's cheaper, and also reduces the waste into our environment. These reusable masks are made of cotton and silk. Of course, these masks also should be layered properly to be effective. Also, the World Health Organization deems these reusable masks as acceptable for the general public to protect themselves from COVID-19, so we should do our best to make our masks last as long as possible. How can we do that? We should properly store our masks to give them longevity. Face masks should be carefully folded so that the outer surface is held inward and against itself to reduce contact with the outer surface during storage. The folded mask can be stored between users in a clean sealable paper bag or breathable container. I personally am focused on recycling non-reusable masks 
and limiting littering the environment. This decreases pollution and eases off the problem. Masks that are recycled can then be decontaminated. If you can't recycle yourself, then we are counting on you to at least bring your disposable mask to a designated recycling area. Because there is no such thing as throwing anything away, as it all must go somewhere. World governments have been particularly good at promoting the use of masks, but we the people need to be aware of how much our pollution or disposable masks are causing. And so it is important that this message reach as many people as possible with similar urgency and act and take care of our environment or pollution will be spread, especially in Kuwait. Kuwait has been a country that faced pollution for a long time, as, as we can remember. And because of this, I ask you today to recycle and take care of our environment, one mask at a time. Consider this your public service announcement. Together, we can unmask the earth by wearing a reusable mask.